excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Hi there. I was behind you in the checkout line. I overheard your conversation with the cashier. Sounds like you're going through a really hard time right now. I'm so sorry. I'd, I'd like to give you something. Oh my, you have no idea what this means to me. The words on the card, you matter. Is it possible that just two words can make someone's day, change someone's life? What if those same two words could actually change the world? Well, I know they can. What you just saw is not theatrical make-believe. It happened to me in a parking lot in suburban Philadelphia. I was indeed standing behind that middle-aged woman in the supermarket checkout line when I overheard her tell the cashier her recent struggles. You see, her husband had just lost his job. Her son was battling addiction. She didn't know how she'd make it through the holidays. My heart ached. I wanted to help her, but I didn't know how. Should I offer to pay for her groceries, ask for her husband's resume, what? The woman left the store. I caught up with her in the parking lot, summoned my courage, and gave her that card. You matter. The woman began to cry. I walked back to my car, and I began to cry. A few weeks earlier, a friend had given me a You Matter card. Bam! Those two words landed smack in the middle of my heart. They touched me more deeply than many of the love yas, thank yous, have a nice days that we so casually toss around. I was so moved that I immediately ordered my own box of cards and started sharing them. First, I gave them to family and friends. Even if they weren't in dire straits, like the woman in the parking lot, their faces lit up and often their eyes moistened when they read those two words, you matter. As I became bolder, I started sharing cards with people in my community who make my life richer, like my dry cleaner, Marie, my accountant, Betsy, and Hamid, who sells me fruit at the farmer's market. Almost everyone I gave a card to immediately turned it over. It's like they were primed to look for the catch. What's she selling? What's she asking of me? Only when they realized there is no catch did they lower their shoulders and breathe in the message, you matter. As I reflected on the impact of sharing these cards, I realized that though we have more ways than ever of connecting, many of us feel more isolated and more disconnected than ever. We question our worth and seek validation and comfort from unhealthy sources like excess alcohol or food, online trolling, bullying. We covet Facebook likes and LinkedIn contacts, often at the expense of genuine face-to-face -face connection. Harvard researchers have determined that this disconnection, this loneliness, it's actually toxic. And I get it. There have been times in my life when I've questioned if I mattered, like in my early 30s when I was hijacked by what I call contingent mattering, believing that I mattered only if I had a husband and kids, only if I was a size two, only if I had a six-figure salary. I was miserable. Ironically, it was only when I started sharing this vital message that my own sense of worth started to soar. You see, we have the mistaken belief that in seeking or demanding validation from others, we receive it for ourselves. Actually, the opposite is true. We receive validation when we validate others. You matter. People go their entire lives and never hear these words. One of the forefathers in the field of positive psychology, Chris Peterson, said the entire practice of positive psychology 
boils down to three words, other people matter. My experience in the parking lot confirmed that telling other people they matter matters to them and to us. I was so taken by the power of sharing these cards. I wanted other people to experience this power too. So I launched the You Matter Marathon, <laughs> no running required, <laughs> and invited people to share one You Matter card a day during November, the month of Thanksgiving. To make it as easy as possible for people to participate, my team and I mailed 30 You Matter cards for free to everyone who signed up on our website. Our original goal was to share 10,000 cards. The marathon took off in ways I never could have predicted. In the past three years, over 100,000 people have given out more than 1 million cards in 50 states and 70 countries. That's right. Astounding feedback poured in. It continues to pour in. In fact, people are eager to share their stories and photos. As we speak, a teacher in Kentucky is sharing cards with his fifth grade class. A CEO on Wall Street is giving a card to her assistant. A journalist in Cyprus is getting a card from his editor. And a church group in Maine is sharing cards with parishioners in need. One participant, Joan, gave a card to her son, who was recently released from prison and living in a halfway house. She said he looked at that card for an entire minute and fought to hold back tears. Then he asked if she had extra cards that he could give to the men he was living with. Howard told me about a friend of his from the gym who was ill and going downhill quickly. He placed a card under the windshield wiper of his friend's car. Two days later, his friend died. But he died knowing that somebody felt he mattered. Nina used the cards in teen suicide prevention programs and groups of gang members. She said, it's a hoot to have hardened teens tell me sincerely that I matter because I made them feel like they matter. Julie said, this has been the best November of my life. I see people differently. I see myself differently. And Sue, who never leaves home without a pack of cards, said carrying the cards is like having a superpower in her pocket. Clearly, this message touched people deeply. It also confirmed my belief telling other people they matter matters to the one who received the card and to the one who gave it away. In fact, even when people simply left cards in library books, ATM machines, and on car windshields, they felt validated. Now, as I look back on my You Matter journey, I realize that what that woman in the supermarket parking lot was most hungry for wasn't money or a job for her husband. It was to have another human being acknowledge her significance. That woman matters. And so do you. Yes, you. Regardless of age, ability, nationality, gender, education, ethnicity, race, religion, income, or sexual identity, you matter. You matter because you're a human being. And when I tell you that you matter, I am a better, more human being myself. Sharing these cards has become a happy habit. It's something I do every day. It's something I'm inviting you to do starting today. People often ask me what I hope to achieve with the You Matter Marathon. And my answer is this. Imagine what the world would be like if every human being knew in their bones that they mattered. No one would have to bully or harass another person to feel better about themselves. No one would have to use a gun 
or post a naked selfie to feel important. No one would have to diet themselves to death, cut themselves, or worse, just to feel something. What would be different in your life if someone told you that you mattered? And how would you feel about yourself if you changed someone else's life by giving them a card with these two words? It started in a parking lot in suburban Philadelphia. It has only just begun. Thank you. Yeah.